According to a November 3, 2014 article at Inquisitor.com, Pope Francis, the leader of the worldwide Roman Catholic Church, recently declared, speaking at the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, that fish-to-man evolution, Darwinian evolution, is not only an acceptable teaching, but he said that Darwinian evolution and the Big Bang do not conflict with the idea of God as creator of life and of the universe. And he also said, that God basically could not have done it any other way because God simply isn't powerful enough. Listen to what the Pope said. Quote, When we read about creation in Genesis, we run the risk of imagining that God was a magician with a magic wand able to do everything. But that is not so. He created human beings and let them develop according to the internal laws that he gave to each one so they could reach their fulfillment. In other words, the Pope says it is not so that God is able to do everything. And so he had to use the mechanics of evolution. Of course, these statements are antithetical to the clear and literal interpretations of the Word of God. Now, the Pope may not know the Word of God in context, and a viewer of this video might say, I don't believe the Bible to be true. Well, you and the Pope will ultimately have to take those things up with the Creator himself one day, but the fact remains, if one claims to speak for the biblical truth, it would be helpful to know what the Bible says. For example, in John chapter 1, the Bible declares that Jesus is the creator of the universe. In Colossians chapter 1, the Bible declares that Jesus is the creator of the universe. And in Jesus, all things in the universe hold together. In Hebrews chapter 1, the Bible declares that Jesus is the creator of the universe. And in Mark chapter 10, Jesus himself declares, at the beginning of creation, God created them male and female. And then, of course, the Word of God, Genesis chapters 1 and chapter 2, the creation account, it leaves no room for fish-to-man evolution, declaring a literal six-day creation using the Hebrew word yom, which means a literal 24-hour period day in its context. Additionally, those two chapters describe each day as having an evening and a morning, just in case we don't know the meaning of yom. And on top of this, those chapters describe creation events that depend upon one another immediately to survive, like sunlight and plants, which could not have been separated by millions of years if each, quote, day was not to be interpreted literally, but rather in terms of epic periods of time. And on top of that, Genesis describes the scientific method verified science of genetic DNA locks within kinds of living things, saying that each living thing reproduces only after its own kind. Obviously, the Pope is woefully ignorant of these basic biblical and scientific truths, and if he is not, then he's being purposely deceitful. Regardless of the scenario, the Pope has called the Word of God and the words of Jesus a lie. The article goes on to say the Pope remains to be popular and continues to receive massive support from both the moderately religious and the adamantly unbelieving. In a shocking declaration last year, the article says, the Pope told a group of mass attenders that atheists who do good are, quote, redeemed. The word redeemed means to be saved. Regarding the Pope's shocking declaration last year, I suppose he does not know or chooses to ignore Acts chapter 4, verse 12, for example, that says that salvation is found in no one else. There's no other name given among men under heaven whereby you must be saved but the name of Jesus. Or Jesus' declaration in John chapter 14, verse 6, when Jesus said of himself, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and no man comes unto the Father but by me. Or the declaration of Romans chapter 10, verse 9, you must confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and then you shall be saved. Once again, the Pope calls the word of God and Jesus a lie. Predictably, the Inquisitor article ends by stating, the evidence for the theory of evolution remains strong despite political opposition from those who refuse to acknowledge this basic scientific fact. This, of course, is an absolute falsehood. 
fish-to-man evolution is not supported by a single solitary piece of scientific method evidence, observed, demonstrated, repeatable, and falsifiable. It's not supported by this kind of evidence anywhere in the world or down through history, unless the evolutionist first inserts some sort of faith statement like, we think, or we suppose, or it would seem that, or billions of years ago, etc. You see, there simply is no scientific method evidence for deep time evolution. And this Darwinian fish-to-man evolution is far from scientific fact. It is nothing more than pseudoscience. So we have to ask, is the Pope really this biblically and scientifically ignorant? If he is, what does this say about the Catholic Church? Or is the Pope purposely throwing truth to the ground and causing a great deception to sweep the planet? Either way, it seems like we might be living in some very prophetic Antichrist spirit times. What say you?